In this video, I'm going to be drilling a inch and a quarter hole for a reverse osmosis system that I'm getting put in in about a week by Culligan. They charge you anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks to drill the hole if you don't have one drilled. As you can see, I do not have one. I want to put the system in the water reverse osmosis system in our sink right here. Okay, this is what I purchased to drill the hole at Home Depot. At Home Depot for about thirty bucks for both of them. It's the Diamond Plus hole saw. Okay, for me, I wanted to put the reverse osmosis water valve equally spread apart from the air gap valve. So as you can see, I, I measured from center of the air gap to center of the sink. And from center of the uh, center faucet to center here, which was eight inches here and eight inches here. That'll weigh a little half. Okay, now I started drilling the hole. It's going slow, keeping it nice and steady. I'm not trying to get too fast. I'm not really pushing hard at all. And I'm letting the blade do all the work. I put some water on it to keep it cool. Dust is not really a factor. The dust is not really kicking up. It kind of just gets real grainy and it's staying on the uh, granite itself. So I'll apply some more speed. Kind of get it, make sure it's cutting it evenly. Wipe it down with some cool water. Clean the surface with some cool, nice wet rag. And you know, I think the key here is just to go slow. Yeah, it's not a race. You don't want it to crack, so don't go too fast. Don't push. And just uh, make sure your blade doesn't get too hot. Okay. So now Still good. Hole's looking good. Now I'm gonna check, make sure. And I'm gonna let my blade cool. So, as you can see, I'm getting there. It's getting deeper. I'm kind. I think I'm coming up to the to the end of it here. So, I'll give my blade another cool off. Wipe it down with this. It's not trying to put cold water directly. I think I'm coming home now. I think I'm getting getting into it. I'll let this cool off. Let's see what kind of it. I'm at the end of it. I'm just gonna get the screwdriver, kind of just pry up the little piece. As you can see, just came right out. And there's just a little bit in here. I'm just gonna kind of softly tap, real softly tapping it. There it goes. And I'm cleaning up the bottom of it. So I'm just where I want to be because the main was inch and a quarter and I think the max is inch and three eighths. So I'm in the I'm in the gray area right there, which is where I wanted to be.